have um, the, the black and the hot wires wired all by themselves. That way I can put this on a board separate from everything else. I've got multiple blacks on this one. I do need to change this out later um, and put one solid core wire just like the hot. And it runs into the, re into the board and feeds both the negative and the positive on the main fuse block. Um, there'll be a third wire that comes in. Uh, from ignition, but that'll come in more into the relays and that type of thing. But this gives me another additional, you know, 12 fuses on this block that I can use. I've also separated out the, the different sides with these two blocks, wiring blocks. Uh, just, it makes it a lot cleaner, a lot easier to deal with. If I have to replace a wire uh, somewhere, excuse me, I can just unhook the wire from the one side or the other side, rewire it and put it back in again. I don't have to worry about rewiring the fuses and all that kind of stuff or messing with this thing at all. I can just go from side to side. And then if I've also got one feed that feeds multiple things, I can run multiple feeds to one side and then um, not have to twist wires together um, or put in blocks that always, you know, we use these connectors, we know they always fail. Um, when it's time. So I wanted to make sure that this was was well put together and I didn't have to mess with it. But on this side, we've got all of our relays. And if you look underneath the wiring, you can see they're all numbered. Um, and that way, and also the wiring, if you see it, each one has a number on top of it so that you know that wire corresponds with that, that terminal. But also on the other end of the relay, you've got these numbered so that you know one, two, three, four, five, and six all go together. Um, if one relay blows out, it's easy enough to switch out uh, to a different relay because they're all general wired through this block. So you can almost take number two, move it over to number one, uh, move, take number two, move it over, move number one over to number two um, and be able to feed a different relay to do the same thing in case... One of them goes out, say your fuel pump relay goes out and you're on the road. Um, you know, I plan on using this extra spot down here at the end to just put in an extra relay um, all by itself. That way, if I ever have to uh, replace one, I've got a spare with me at all times um, because you never know what could happen. Um, each one of these relays is, what, is a five wire relay. Uh, most cars you'll use four, just like you see this one here is already wired in and it's using a four wire relay. The other ones are all five, just in case I ever need it uh, to have five wire. If I don't, I'll just end the terminal like I did this one. This one I've got to finish uh, uh, basically pulling the wire out and pulling the spade off of it. And then I don't have to worry about any shorts or anything with that sticking out like that. So they're there if you need them and you can remove them if you, and remove them if you don't. Um, the way these are wired is Reds are hot, black is our ground, of course, white is our trigger, and blue is our hot to the device. So at the other end of the wiring, I haven't done the white yet, um, mainly because I haven't figured out really how I'm going to lay it out, but I did do the blues and I lengthened them out. Then you'll notice on the blue wires, hold on a second, let me straighten them, on these blue wires, each one of them has a number of dots, silver dots on it. Uh, my wife was nice, nice enough to get me uh, silver and gold Sharpies, and I've been labeling the the, uh, the cables. The other way to label them is just label the, the ends, and you can count, you know, which, which wire, which relay, what have you. A um, couple different ways you can do it. You can even get the little numbered tabs that uh, that you can hook onto the wires, but a lot of those little white tabs end up peeling off, Per, this is a permanent marker from Sharpie, so you know it's on there for a long time uh, because we've all gotten Sharpie on us before. Um, but it just helps to lay everything out the right way. Um, the second question everybody asked me is, why is there two of the, the, the uh, lock boxes? Well, there's a couple of reasons for it. Both of them, yes, have antennas. Um, you would think, oh, they're going to need different remotes, but they don't. This one's opened up. I just have to finish closing it up because I'm done with it. One remote talks to both relays. 
and both relays or both uh, boxes talk to each other, believe it or not. It's kind of a really cool concept. This is the main box here um, that runs the show, and then it tells this one what to do. Uh, this one is your main alarm system, and this one runs power locks, power windows, and that type of stuff in conjunction with this block, with this box. Um, because they talk to each other, you can get them to do interesting things, like um, this one here uh, controls window. That's what your yellow wire is. So what that means is when this one locks the locks the doors, this one powers the relay to roll the windows up. Not down, just up. So when you lock the car, 30 seconds, it'll run 30 seconds of window over here to both front windows to lock them. So it's kind of a cool concept. I thought it was really neat, and that's why I wanted to do it. Of course, the wiring is real easy for these because it's right out, right across right across the relay. I do have to hide these two, uh, the red and black. They do go underneath the board um, here to make it eat, you know, make it so it's a lot cleaner. Um, but that's definitely how this is all wired so far. Um, I have the, the this one goes in the trunk. I do have a separate set of relays in the front engine compartment for the electric fans and that type of thing. Um, but this one is just for the accessories. Like right now, this is for your your door lock relay, your your poppers, and this one's going to be the window and so on and so forth. So each one of them will do do a different thing. Some of these will be when the you turn the key on, it powers whatever device um, that may be on the block. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. It's kind of a kind of an interesting thing, but. I'm having a good time with it. Um, this board's probably run me about five days of work so far. But when I get done, I don't have to worry about my wiring in the in the car going haywire. So if you got any questions, give me a yell. Send me a, send me a PM. Um, if you're interested in having work done, always let me know. According to my wife, I need to start doing this for people and charging for it. Um, but yeah, it's all... All separated out, all kind, uh, all kinds of nice. So the final video in the series is uh, running the relay. So all the relays come out to the three wires, one being the trigger, the whites, the yellows being the um, opposite. So like if you run uh, driving lights or something like that, you would run them to this one on your high beam and then it would shut off um, and then of course your power out as you can see I've got the wire running out to the lock system I've already tested it and it works just fine one of the nice things about these is when you get ready to add um, the ignition on you can actually use these um, cut them to fit whatever group you want to be ignition on only um, so it allows you to have a group of them run on one K one hot wire from the uh, from the ignition to the trigger, so that definitely helps with your windows and that type of thing. And that's how I'll run the windows and and a couple other things like the stereo system will be run on that. Um, it'll be triggered off of it. But here it is sitting in the trunk of the car. Now I've got to build the panels and everything on the side so that I can put it in because I, my next project is to rip this all out and put in the fuel cell. So first things first, but that's your final termination for your relays. So it has its own little relay panel, so you could actually hide all the rest of it uh, under a cover and then just work off of these, pan these wiring. And then, of course, you've got your main fuse block with all your fuses on this side for your relays and that side for everything else you want to run. So that's kind of where it's all at. Uh, hope you guys learned something from it. Quick tip also that I'm doing on this board. You can see the relays are all pretty tight in there together. Um, and I've left a little bit of slack on all of the wires, as you can see. And that's, let's say you're going down the road, and this is your fuel pump um, relay. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that every other relay doesn't do anything. Um, so you'll have one, three, and five will actually be operating relays, and the other ones will probably not be doing anything. I'll if I put any more in, I'll I'll build them in, depending upon if there's I need redundancy on these circuits or not. Uh, for prime example, like if you've got a fuel pump and you're running it off a relay and you burn a relay, you're kind of dead in the water wherever you are, unless you have the spare, which I do over here. But it can be kind of a pain depending upon your at where you're at. Uh, a friend of mine ran out of gas alongside the freeway with his hot rod, and he's standing there five feet from the freeway trying to fix his truck. And meanwhile, semis are going back. What this allows you to do is if you leave the blank a blank space next to this relay, is you can pull this wire off, pull this wire off, and for the time being, connect to the other relay. If I can get my fingers to work, connect to the relay next to it, and that way you've got your redundancy built in, and two is kind of just there. Um, I haven't decided, you know, if I'm going to do that, you know, well, I will, I do plan to do it, it just depends on what uh, what is what each relay is running, but this is a really good suggestion for you guys if you want some kind of redundancy. Um, I was watching Hot Rod Garage and I was watch, watching him uh, wire his uh, is it uh, B rod, and his redundancy is just phenomenal. It, the way he's doing it and the way we're doing it here is also is is a little on the expensive part because you're spending twice as much. But you've got so much redundancy here, you don't have to worry about dying on the side of a road and not being able to fix it. Well, that's my tip for relays for all you out there building your own system. <laughs>